In this example, we're given four different matrices here, and each of these matrices has uh, different dimensions. And so we're also given four products, multiplying A and B together, C and A, D and B, and B and D. And we want to try to figure out what the dimensions of each product matrix uh, is going to be, and if it's possible or not. So let's go ahead and start by finding the dimensions of each of these four uh, matrices here. So for A, it looks like we have two rows and three columns. So we're going to say A is a two by three. For B, it looks like we have three rows and two columns. So that should be a three by two. Looks like C is a row matrix. So one row, three columns. So one by three. And it looks like D is a column matrix. It has two rows, but just that one column. Okay, so we kind of have a variety of dimensions here. And we'd like to try to figure out what the dimensions of each of these product matrices is going to be. So this first one is going to be A times B. So AB. So it looks like we're going to take a 2 by 3 and multiply it by 3 by 2. So let me write that down. A 2 by 3 we're going to multiply that by a 3 by 2. All right, so the values in the inside here, this 3 and this 3, are the same. So we know we can do this matrix multiplication. And the dimensions of the product matrix will be two rows and two columns. So AB will have the dimensions of a 2 by 2. Okay, so the next one is... Uh, CA, so CA, and it looks like the dimensions of C were 1 by 3, and A was 2 by 3. And again, we're looking for this uh, middle values here to be the same. 3 and 2 are not the same, so we actually cannot do this uh, product of the matrix C with the matrix A. So this is a no-go. Okay, so the next one is DB, so let's put DB, and the dimensions of D are going to be 2 by 1, I'm going to multiply that by the dimensions of B, which is a 3 by 2, and once again, let's look at these inner values, so the number of columns here and the number of rows here, 1 and 3 are not the same, so we will not be able to do the product of D and B. However, let's look at this last one, is BD, so BD, okay, well, the dimensions of B are 3 by 2, and the dimensions of D are 2 by 1. Looking at these inner values, they are indeed the same, so the product matrix will have three rows and just a single column, so the dimensions there will be 3 by 1. And I think it's worth noting right now, we had the multiplication of D with B and then B with D. So the commutative property is what it looks like we're looking at. We just switched the order. And we can tell right here that the commutative property of multiplication does not hold for matrices. Because in this example, we couldn't even do the multiplication. It wasn't even defined. But here we could and the product matrix had a dimensions of 3 by 1. So when you're trying to figure out the dimensions of the product matrix, go ahead and put the dimensions of each of the matrices that you're multiplying together next to each other. And as long as the number of columns here in the first one is equal to the number of rows here in the second one, then you can go ahead and do this multiplication. And the dimensions for that product matrix will be the rows of the first one and the columns of the second one.